Number 26. The volume of Earth can be calculated by using the formula volume equals 4 thirds pi r to the third. Solve for r in terms of v. So what this means is they want some formula that looks like r equals blah, 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 stuff, you know, whatever, and then something is v over here. So we want r all by itself equals something, and then, you know, v is involved in there somewhere. That's what we're looking for, solve for r in terms of v. And actually, when they say the volume of the earth, uh, the earth is not a perfect sphere, but it can be approximated by this, which is the volume of a sphere. I had to throw that in there uh, because I'm just that nerdy. All right, so we start off with v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed to the third power. Right. So let's get rid of all these constants. This stuff all here, this is th these are constants. right? And to get rid of 4 thirds, we multiply both sides by 3 over 4. So that's the first step, 3 over 4 on both sides. So now we have 3 over 4 times volume equals, and you know, 3's cancel out, 4's cancel out, and we have pi r to the third. Right? Okay, now we got to get rid of the pi, so we divide by pi, and dividing by pi is the same as multiplying 1 over pi. So now we have 3 over 4 pi times the volume equals r to the third. Okay, now from this stage, what we're going to do, and I'll write it up here just so we have a little bit more space, we have 3 over 4 pi volume equals radius to the third. To get rid of this to the third power, we take the third root or we raise everything to the one-third power. That will work just as well. One-third power. So the answer here is going to be r equals 3 over 4 pi right, times volume. All this to the one-third power. That's it. That's the answer. We have algebraically solved this equation. There it is.